Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome everybody to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today we're going to go down to New Londo Ruins. But before we do, I want to make sure everybody knows we need some transient curse on. And we also need the Covenant of Artorius. All right, now that that's went over, let's go ahead and go down to New Londo Ruins. Send the elevator back up. We're going to go talk to Rickert and give him the ember we found in the last episode. Hey, hang on. Hang on. Is that, is that a sorcery ember? Oh, I've never seen one like that. Not even back in Vinheim. What a brilliant flame. Please, friend, let me have that. I am begging you. I am a craftsman of Vinheim. I'd go hollow before I pass him a flame like that. Oh, really? You are wonderful. I will forge a Ricket masterpiece just for you. A weapon to make a legend out of it. Come back soon. Smithing helps soothe my nerves. Don't let me wither away out of idleness. So if you're wanting to make some magic items, now you can make some really good magic weapons. I don't know why I said items there. Words, am I right? Here's Crestfallen. And... Yeah. He was not much of a fight. Let's go ahead and put our transient curse on here in just a second. We're going to be about right here. We'll put it on. This will allow us to harm the ghost. If you don't have the transient curse on, you're not going to be able to hit these ghosts. Make sure that you do put that on. The ghosts do have a chance to drop some more transient curse. Should not run out of it. I think we'll use about two. They last quite a long time. Right here is a narrow pathway. Be very careful. What I like to do is step out here just a little ways. So that the ghost aggro. And then let them path over here so we don't have to fight him on that narrow piece there speaking of which one already dropped the transient curse two of them you can kind of see this narrow pathway be very careful don't fall off another good example of why you don't have auto camera recovery on Kill this ghost here, and then this one right here. We're going to come in here, and off to the left, there's going to be another ghost. Run all the way over here, kill this one, this one. These guys are so annoying. So 
Sorry if the camera angles are a little nauseating. A lot of this area is very narrow. Kill another ghost. Get some parry. Get a parrying dagger. Not some. Just one. Kill another ghost. Take that one out. Get some more transient curse. You shouldn't have to buy any. Just because you get so many in this area. Let's kick down this ladder. And then when we run down this pathway... Be very careful, there's going to be a ghost that's going to try to stab you from above. And then on the other pathway down here, or over here, there's going to be another ghost that's going to try to stab you from below. So, just keep running. Right here is a very annoying part. We want to run all the way to the end and take out that ghost right there. Don't let her scream. It's going to make it a little harder on you if so. Or just allow these guys to just hit you a ton. I hate this area right here because it's just, I think, poorly designed with the ghost. It's just my opinion. Grab this item. Just roll. Kill that other ghost. There we go. Might as well heal. We're going to go talk to one of the sealers of New Londo. He's going to give us a key to drain New Londo. Let's go do that now. Well, this is a surprise. I get few visitors. Save for ghosts, you have the Lord Vessel. Very impressive. I know exactly what your intentions are. You seek the four kings whom I guard over. This is the key to the seal. The four kings slumber in the deepest chamber of the ruins. Use this key to break the seal and open the floodgates. Oh, and do not forget, the dark wraiths reside in a dark void called the Abyss. But the Abyss is no place for ordinary mortals. Although, long ago, the Knight Artorius traversed the Abyss. If you can find him and learn from him, the Abyss may prove surmountable. Hello there. What is it? The key to the seal is now in your hands. I will help you in any way possible. He can cure your curse if you get cursed by any basilisk. He can also sell you some transient curse and one spell. We're just going to go ahead and talk to him. New Londo was sacrificed to contain the dark wraiths. Mark my words. The dark wraiths are the enemies of man and any living thing that has a soul. They were never meant to roam again. Let's finish up the top portion of New Londo here and then drain the water. Go ahead and put another transient curse on. This will be the last one we'll have to use.
Be careful. Kill this ghost here. Before grabbing the curse bite ring. Some more transient curse we don't need. Grab a green titanite shard that we don't need. This happens a lot. I can never grab that item. I've even tried dropping down and trying to grab it real quick. Doesn't work. It's just from one of the ghosts that uh, I killed earlier. Grab ourselves a humanity. We're going to need that. I usually get grabbed by the boss in this area. Or bosses. There's multiple. All at once. Grab the rare ring of sacrifice. Go ahead and heal one more time. We don't need to two-hand our sword anymore. We're going to want our shield out for the ne this next area. Before we go down and drain New Londo here, we want to come up the stairs and then come out this way and grab ourselves the composite bow and some large arrows. Let's go ahead and push this lever. Pull that lever. Let our uh, camera freak out there for a second. I don't know why I two-handed my sword. We're going to have a Dark Wraith come after us here. You can parry these guys. I like to fish for backstabs. I find it to be much easier to kill them. Over there is the Valley of Drakes. We went over there much earlier into the walkthrough for a ring and to get the bandit set. Be careful. We're going to have another Dark Wraith. Pretty easy to backstab this guy. Get ourselves a soul item. We're going to go through this fog wall and right here, we just want to step forward a little bit and get the attention of the dark wraith here. Pull him back here. Well, that didn't go as planned, but that's okay. And then I like to pull my bow out and kill this big blob guy with my bow. I'm going to back up a little bit. Oops.
Be careful for his spear attack. That really hurts a lot. We're going to sneak up behind this dark wraith that is staring at the wall. Get ourselves a backstab. They have a chance to drop titanite chunks and they also have a chance to drop the dark hand. The dark hand is a rare drop so we probably won't get that as a drop. But we may get a chunk. That's not really a common drop from them either. Pick up some humanity. Right here is an elevator that brings us back to the beginning of the area. We're just going to step on it. Let it go up. Pick up another soul item. And just keep following this around. We're going to go get the large ember. Or the very large ember. Not the large ember, but very large ember. We can give that to Andre. To be able to max out our claymore. Now we could follow that back around, but what I like to do is drop off right here. That's where we came in at. We want to turn around. Just go this way. We have another Dark Wraith. Again, fish for them backstabs. Get another soul item. Take out this illusory wall. There is a, a dark wraith over there. I think I just called him a black wraith, but there's a dark wraith over here. Nice, get a chunk. Go ahead and open this chest. Pick up another Titanite chunk. We'll get that item in just a moment. Get a cracked red eyed orb. And apparently Apex Legends is done downloading. Grab ourselves another soul item. If you stand back here... Usually the blob guy will not aggro. That'll make things a little easier. just want to step in just just to that first step to aggro the first dark wraith if you step any further in you're going to aggro both of them at the same time and you definitely do not want to fight two dark wraiths at the same time not necessarily the funnest thing to do get another chunk A 
There's a second Dark Wraith here. Get another chunk? Jeez. And then get one more Titanite chunk. Good haul for Titanite chunks. We have one more Dark Wraith to kill. And that'll be all for taking out the enemies in New Londo. Over here is Beatrice. We'll summon her in. She's not nearly as strong as she was with the Moonlight Butterfly. But it does help to have her in here. We'll just top ourselves off here. I like to go all the way to the bottom then drop off. I don't think you have to do that. It just makes me feel safer. Let's go ahead and drop down. I hate that attack. It's annoying. There's the first one of four. I knew I was going to get hit by that. I stood there too long when I seen him charging up. There's the second one. One more to go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. We get four humanity and we also get a Lord Soul. Right here, if you didn't talk to King Seeker Framp, then Koth will be here, which is another primordial serpent. But because we talked to Framp, Koth is not here. Let's go ahead and go to the Undead Parish and give that very large ember to Andre. Well, I'll be. 
thee. That's a brilliant ember you've got there. For all my years in the trade, that might be the finest. How's about... You leave that ember with me. I'm just an old smith. I'd give my left arm for a gem like that. Well, thank you mightily for that. Now, just leave the rest to me. Andre of Astora gets the job done. You shall see. Let's go ahead and modify our claymore. We're going to max it out. And then use our one and only Titanite slab. Don't get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. Let's go ahead and go back to Firelink Shrine and end the video. I'll see everybody there. All right, everyone. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.